with East Stroudsburg University head football coach Danny Dowds and Coach Dowds coming off an awfully big win last Saturday, 35-28 over Westchester. Where are the Warriors right now? Well, it's a step in the right direction. Uh, we're, we're a work in progress right now as a whole football team. Our, our young men are coming in, uh, trying to find out what Division II football is in a highly competitive a atmosphere. I mean, Westchester, they were ranked 24th. Bloomsburg this week are ranked 6th. We're going to play those kinds of teams. So therefore, you've got to not only know what you're doing on the field, but you also have to be able to practice and play in a consistent fashion to be able to, to compete with those types of teams. And we wouldn't want to have it any other way. How does it feel out here in practice this week? Is it a little different than Thursday and Friday last week? Well, I, I think if you look at it, I think it reconfirms some of the things that uh, the veterans have been going through. The freshmen are wondering why they're, they're held to a tight leash in terms of making sure things are done in a proper fashion, paying attention to detail, uh, and, and make sure that everything is executed and finished. And, you know, and sometimes they, hey, we didn't do this in high school. What are we doing here in college? Well, they, they learned a great lesson on Saturday why you do those kinds of things because when you get in a tight game in a big game such as that, everything's got to be right there and they've got to be able to have all of their tools right there. And the win on Saturday was in front of a big homecoming crowd. Obviously the 1964 and 65 teams being inducted to the Hall of Fame, the 82 team with their 30th anniversary. What was it like with that atmosphere in the Warrior football family around you? Well, we told our squad that there's probably more former football players here than in this day than any other day we've ever played. And, and what a great privilege it was for our kids to go out there and, and no one really gave them a chance and they fought their hearts out and, and they prevailed but they were they prevailed and they were able to share it with all those guys who wore their red jerseys and every one of those guys have been in the PSAC playing teams such as Westchester knew what the atmosphere was like and to be able to relive some of their memories and, some, and also maybe uh, to talk to other guys and, and share their memories with them, to be able to have our guys uh, maybe emphasize and highlight and magnify those experiences that they had here at East Stroudsburg University. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, you compared this year's team to kind of raising your own children. You had the big one on Saturday. You ready to throw the kids out of the house yet? Oh, no. Hey, listen, it, it, it took us, uh, my wife Judy and I, uh, over 18 years, and actually it one when they, we were still raising when they were in college, too, until uh, they did that. So it, it, it took 22 years. Hey, uh, a month and a half isn't going to get it done with this group right here. So, hey, it's still, we're still working on it, and we'll still hold them to a, uh, be accountable for their actions on the field, in the classroom, and also in our community. Uh, one of those youngsters made his second career start at quarterback on Saturday, uh, was the offensive player of the week in the league, set the school record for completion percentage uh, in Matt Soltes. You've had now 31 different starting quarterbacks. Has, has Matt cracked the top 30 at this point? Well, I, 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 he's well on his way if he hasn't in, in dealing with that. But he just had an outstanding game. And we're all just happy for him to be able to start to put things together which should be an exciting uh, career here at East Stroudsburg. Being a redshirt freshman, we hope to see many more of those too. Uh, you're turning your focus this week to Bloomsburg, as you mentioned, they're ranked sixth in Division Two. What do you know about the Huskies? And they're a fine football team. Hey, they're the number one rushing football team in the nation. They have one uh, young man uh, who rushes for over 160 yards, the other one's over 125 yards. Most teams would be jumping up and down if they had one kid that would rush for over 125 yards. So that, that's their attack, and they do it, and they do it very well. And, and we expect to have a heck of a battle out there. They also have some defensive players, those two inside linebackers they got right there. They're, they're uh, up there in, in tackles. Their defensive end is, I believe, leading the league in sacks. Uh, and they are, they're, they're always a good football team, and it's always a great uh, – University to compete against, and we're looking forward to it. And you'll have another familiar face across the sidelines from you on Saturday, and Danny Hale. It's going to be the fourth matchup of 200 win coaches in Division II. Uh, you've been fortunate to be part of two of the first three against John Lucker the last couple of years. But what's it mean to be in a special situation like that? It means you're playing against another old coach, too, and be able to help in that. But, you know, it, 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 we both look forward to it, I'm sure. 
and we both uh, know what we have to do to be able to, to try to get our teams to prevail on that uh, Saturday afternoon. And it should be another exciting battle between East Stroudsburg and Bloomsburg, and both teams, I'm sure, are looking forward to it. Well, Coach Daz, we wish you the best of luck on Saturday. Look forward to it, and thanks for your time. Appreciate that. It's always a good to see all the people that uh, came back for homecoming, and also the Warriors spirit certainly prevailed on this campus last Saturday. Thank you, Coach.